Hello scrapbooking friends and thank you for joining me for another video. So this is my update video for January 2024. So the projects that I got done in January and um, any spending that I did and also my plans for February. So I did actually do a card so I thought I'd show you that. Um, I've discovered a new scrapbooking group called My Little Scrapbook Store and um, Currently, they've got an online Elvis crop <laughs> going on, but uh, they, they have challenges like each month. And I just looked back at one of their challenges for I think it was January, and there was a card, there was a sketch for a card. So I had to make a card for a friend, so I thought I'd follow the sketch, made the card, and I just thought I'd show that to you. So this is a bag that my friend Moira sent to me in a package, and I'm pretty sure I may be wrong, but I think I may have sent that to you, Moira. A long time ago because I think it's Kath Kidston. I might be wrong on that though. But uh, yes, I'll use that and a little bit of pattern paper underneath there. I've stamped this image of Elvis, added a little wood star, button star, and a little sentiment and a little bit of outlining and what have you. So yeah, just a just a quick card that I did there. And I may do some more of that design as well. Then we're on to um should we do the layouts first? Let's do the layouts first. So I, did, I managed to get three layouts done in January, which was amazing. I'm really pleased with that because, uh, as you know, I've not been doing too much scrapbooking lately. But, um, yeah, I was inspired to do some scrapbooking by some of the stories that I wanted to tell. So this is just my festive photo shoot with Buddy and Chester. This is the Vicky Boot and pattern paper, one of the four sheets that I had left of Christmas pattern paper. I, I'm pretty sure I said I would use that side, but in the end it was perfect for these photos. And yeah, absolutely stunning pattern paper. So um, two four by six portrait photos. I've got that lovely outfit that my friend Moira sent to me. Some wood stars with um, Hessian over them or jute and a little wood button. Christmas decoration, Tim Holtz badge. Bramble Fox pieces and then I've used my um, enamel accents to add on to the berries um, just for extra dimension, definition and also um, I've used some gold ink splatter and a couple of little uh, brads here that I've fitted in. So yeah, I absolutely love that layout. I really, really want to put that in a frame. <laughs> then of course I had to document my uh, visit to the Direct from Graceland exhibition in London. Um, blue textured cardstock chamel main character energy blue skies pattern paper um, and i use this side which is probably the b side but oh, i absolutely love this pattern paper i'm definitely going to get some more um yeah definitely absolutely love it and um, this is a lovely die cut crown that my friend stephanie sent to me these are just some wood discs that i've added gold inked um acrylic paint and then i've stamped over them using stays on metal camera just created my own little title secondary title here stamped that just onto a piece of scrap flare piece tim holtz metal piece here another tim holtz metal piece here glitter gold bow and then another piece that i've cut myself and inked the edges for the um, just the journey which is such a thrill to visit the elvis exhibition and i've added on here where it was in london and I've used some uh, lovely metallic thread that Stephanie sent to me. And there are uh, quite a few pieces on here. So this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, all came from deconstructed layouts in the House of Scrap project that I'm doing. Simple layout here of Elvis the donkey. So I think that's brown textured cardstock, yellow polka dot paper and paper, that lovely alpha that my friend Moira sent to me again there. Uh, a reused paper bag that Moira sent to me. Four by six photo of Elvis onto white textured cardstock with a torn edge. Some of these stars here, three stars, gold stars, a doubled up heart here, which I like to do. And then I've got this lovely Shadney piece here from Moira again. And I've added some, um, what is it, craft cardstock? Oh, no, a bit of pattern paper or a four, three by four card and then two tags craft cat tag and like a grey tag and I've set an eyelet and added twine and I, I actually set the eyelet the, the wrong way round so this is the reverse of the tag which does bother me slightly but you know I'll, I'll get over that Elvis is now in with Nick and Chucky in this small and special herd he seems okay so Elvis has moved herds he's moved into a small herd with blind donkey Nick and little Chucky donkey and he seems to be doing well and CJ's in the oldies herd if you follow me you'll know all about this and um, Elvis and CJ used to be in the same herd so I think they'll see each other a little bit now because 
they're, they're quite often inside those herds because they're vulnerable donkeys and you know they're in the same barn so they'll see each other over the over the uh, you know then uh, wall or gate right we finished off here last time i think with this page and then we moved into january didn't we it's my traveler's note my donkey traveler's notebook oh and i forgot to mention i did replace the cj um bookmark because i dropped an ink pad on the one underneath I, I, I couldn't take the one underneath off so i stuck that one over the top but i did replace that so we're in january now so my first um session at the donkey sanctuary in january and um, because i missed the first week because i was poorly so um this is elvis and nick here and then this is elvis and chucky so i'm just there's not nothing no sort of decoration really it's just journaling and the photos I didn't even stamp the names on this side. So I'm just saying that Elvis is now in with Nick and Chucky. Wow, <laughs> since Sunday. He seemed settled. He seems settled. I haven't written that properly, have I? Where's my black pen? I can't see it. Is that it? Yeah. He seems settled. He didn't fancy a groom, though. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't get, he, yeah, I'm sure it was easier to groom Elvis when he was out in the field because he'd come over to you. But when he's in the little, yeah, he's not, when he's in the little paddock, um, what do you call that? Small area with a gate inside one of the barns. So it's kind of a set, just a small little area where the, the small herds sometimes go. So he didn't fancy going, yeah, and he didn't fancy going, so he just kind of walked off because he was eating. <laughs> uh, they had somebody building shelving in the feed room and the vets were on site, so it was a very busy day, quite chaotic. I helped with food for Frosty, I groomed the girls, I moved Elvis into Bruno's bungalow, which is this area. Um, I did some poo picking help with feeds and I put the friends and family herd back inside on my own. Oh, and then later on at the end of the day, I gave Elvis his hay and um, Nick and Chucky and this is them in Bruno's bungalow actually this is not the small area in the other barn this is the larger area in the other barn <laughs> I get mixed up I can tell but I remember now and I can tell by the photos so this is when they were first introduced together uh, Elvis was first introduced to Nick and Chucky and they're in a large area just to make sure there were no issues or anything and they all got along fine and what have you and that 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 is that's what's happened and now they do sometimes go into a smaller area in the other barn which is where they are here in this photo so this is the following week this is the 16th of january um and i've done a little bit stamping here and i've just said my elvis here and nick he is blind just in case people don't know from previous you know if you're reading through my travels note but you'll probably nick gets mentioned quite a lot so we were close to the public this week because there was a lot of maintenance going on at the sanctuary so yeah they had to close to the public but i was still there because i help on the farm and everything so i did some training for tours helped muck out the new girls betty pearl autumn and poppy i did some feeds i fed little theo and noah they actually barged me because <laughs> they were so excited about their food not excited to see me i might add um i put the friends and family back again um i gave their oldies their mix cj nibbled on my arm as i was giving eric a scoop i thought we were friends i've said here yeah cj had a little nibble on my arm. Luckily, I had a thick coat on. But, yeah, he was trying to get to poor Eric's scoop with his medicine in it, which he was not allowed to do, of course. And then um, I've had, what I did was when I came to do this page, I did it on this side by mistake <laughs> instead of on this side. So what I thought I'd do was to fill this page. I'd just add that I went to a quiz night with some of my friends from the Donkey Sanctuary. So um, I have decorated this a little bit more than normal. So I've added this thickest title here. Um, and I've just said that um, we went to a quiz night in aid of the donkeys. We called ourselves All Sorts because that's the new name for the friends and family herd. And um, it was a fun night, a music quid, quiz. I didn't contribute much, but I knew that a hard day's night was in 1964. Yay. The others were brilliant. We came eighth. I said a few thank yous at the end for the donkeys. So, yeah, it was in aid of the donkey sanctuary and I was asked to just say a few words at the end just to say thank you and what have you. And, uh, yeah, I didn't really answer many questions because, you know, a lot of the um, questions were about modern music. So I, I said to the other team members that I'll get my coat now because I know nothing about modern music. Not that I know anything about older music, but, you know, there's more chance of me knowing that. It started with the 60s and went all the way through to modern day music. But, yeah, I was really happy with answering my one question on the Beatles, my very limited knowledge of the Beatles. 
So then the fun, so this was the following week actually at the sanctuary and I've just got these photos here and just journaling again. So this is Eric, CJ, Elvis, and then this is the little herd, Nick, Elvis and Chucky all together there. So that's them in their little section of the barn when they're inside. And I've just said that I was supposed to do a coach show, but they didn't they never turned up, so that wasted a bit of time, which didn't make me happy. Um I spent some uh, quite a long time grooming Eric because he had like a sore skin. His a couple of hours grooming Eric with his skin issue. Oh, issue! It's my writing. I can't read my own writing. I thought I'd put sore, but I didn't. I put issue and not not written it properly. I did some hoof picking, which was exciting because I'm I'm quite new at hoof picking and I'm building my confidence now because when you do when I do hoof picking, I'm always afraid of hurting the donkey if I do it too you know hard. But yeah, that you, you don't you can't really do that. You can't really hurt them. Um, and so I'm getting more confident at doing it and a bit quicker and what have you. Not that it matters. Speed doesn't matter. But sometimes the donkey wants to walk off. So it's sometimes it does help to get it done quickly. <laughs> so, yeah, I did that. And then I helped make the feeds again and distribute them. I gave Nicky scoop. Elvis said hello to me. Fed the oldies. And I got ambushed by the oldies. CJ's a little bit quiet in the corner. But sometimes he is quiet. He's a quiet boy. Elvis seems happy with his new pals. It was a blustery day with rain on and off, but farm life goes on, and that is true. So, yeah, I was inside with Eric in the morning for a couple of hours or more, and I could hear the wind outside. It was so blustery, and I just, I don't think any visitors came in, actually. I think we had visitors that did have visitors at the sanctuary that day. Oh, no, yes, yes, we were open. We were closed the week before, weren't we? So, yeah, we do, we still get visitors on bad weather days, but when I was in the barn in the morning, I didn't see anybody at all. <laughs> And then the final week, I've gone a bit, little bit crazy here. Um, I think what I was doing was, because, um, you know, I've realised that I'm at the end of my book and it's quite thin, it's not like too fat. So, and I had all these things on my desk from deconstructed layouts. So I thought, um, you know, I'd jazz things up a little bit for the final, final, um, well, not quite final. There's still two pages left, but towards the end of the book. So I've used this little post-it that my friend Maury sent to me. I've added another one of those um, little paper bags that came in a package from Moira. I've layered this on top and I've just layered the photos. A little bit of washi tape at the bottom here. Some um, stickers that I've used from other layouts. Some little gems here and um, a, wood, two, a doubled up wood heart and a little wood tab that says eating so yeah oh and a chipboard piece here <laughs> so yeah so it's a little bit different to what i've been doing lately isn't it very very embellished um i was in time to give elvis nick and chucky their medicine so one of the when i walked in the to the barn the farm staff were in there and they know how much i like my elvis so i was i gave um, them all their little med the, all those three their medicine scoops i helped him mucking out elvis didn't fancy a groom i've said again here he wasn't up for a groom that day so I groomed Chucky. Chucky's always up for a groom. Elvis and Nick. Elvis and, Elvis and Nick, not so much. Chucky, always up for a groom. He, I think that's why he looks kind of smart, because he probably gets groomed more than the others. And then did more hoof picking. I managed to do Frida and Angus Pony. So that was exciting, because I did two whole donkeys, four hooves, which doesn't always happen. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, someone else, maybe if you can't get them to stand still or something you'll distract them and someone else will do it you know but that that day with help from volunteer colleagues i might add i did manage to do two whole don't well one donkey and angus little angus ponies and mini shetland and then i helped with the feeds again so this is elvis these are the little scoops with the medicine in i just took a photo of those so i'd already done nick and chuck and then i gave elvis his medicine and then this is elvis coming up to me but you know, not wanting a groom. Now, I've put these two photos in here because I did pop into the sanctuary the day after on the Wednesday for a social visit. I was taking my dogs to the um, shampoodles for their grooming and um, I'd sort of mentioned it to the ladies that I might bring them in, the farm team. And they were like, oh, yeah, bring them in, bring them in. So I did. I took them over to see everybody and it was really nice. Everyone made them feel very special. And as I was there, I got a photo of Elvis and a photo of Elvis and little Nick out in the field shell because they were both outside. I mean, they were outside of Chucky having some outside time. But I've not decided whether I'm going to pop these in here or not yet. It might depend on what I get up to, get up to, in you know, to fill these last two pages. I, I, I may not use those photos because they are similar to all other photos. Well, I mean, a lot of my photos are similar, but, you know, it's not an actual... It's not a volunteer day at the sanctuary. It was a social visit. So that's the end of my Traveller's Notebook for 
this time. I've got two pages left in there, so we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll get two more days in there. I should do get two more days in there. So, um, yeah, that's it. So that's my um, projects for January, including that card that I made. Uh, zero spend, haven't spent any money at all. I am running out of adhesive. All I've got left here in my rolled adhesive is this and this. So I just finished off a roll of wider adhesive. So I may have to spend that voucher that mum gave me for Christmas and go and get some more adhesive from the range. So I'm up to date with the House of Scrap. I've had a session of doing those videos. Um, I've, I've done them for the whole of February. So there's... Um, videos ready to go right up until the end of the month um so that's good and i'm going to do hopefully get another one of those done today or tomorrow and uh, so that will take me into march for the house of scraps i'm really pleased with that and i'm getting i'm see, i can see the light at the end of the tunnel i'm getting there with the house of scrap um yeah really really uh, enjoyed that project it is a marathon of, of course but i'm really pleased with getting it done and refiling all my uh, layouts by theme and what have you so yeah, um, that's all for today. I shall, um, you know, catch up with you during February with any layouts that I get done. I've actually done a layout today before I did this video, which I'm hoping will go up today or tomorrow. So I've already done a layout for February, but I'm not showing it in this video because it is a February layout. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'll get some more done. So once again, thank you for joining me. Stay safe, take care, and I shall see you next time. Thank you.